Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about percentiles of group data. Percentiles are score points that divide the distribution into 100 equal parts. So for group data, percentiles are the same with quartiles and deciles since that is the sum of lower class boundary and the fractional part of the class interval size. So this is the formula for getting the percentile that is equal to LB sub P sub K plus the quantity of KN over 100 minus less than CF sub B all over F sub PK times I. So LB sub PK that is lower class boundary of percentile class. Less than CF sub B that is less than cumulative frequency below the percentile class. F sub PK that is frequency of the percentile class. I is the class interval. So let us have example. The scores of students in algebra test. As you can see, it is arranged using frequency distribution table where the scores are in terms of class interval and the respondents are in frequency. So frequency meaning the number of students per class interval. So for 95 to 99, there are 5 students who got the score of 95 to 99. So, there are 11 students who got 90 to 94. There are 17 students who got 85 to 89. There are 25 students who got 80 to 84. 20 students who got 75 to 79. 12 students who got 70 to 74. 7 students who got 65 to 69 and 3 students who got the score of 60 to 64. So if we are going to find how many students took the test, just add the frequency. So 5 plus 11, 16, plus 17, that is equal to 33, plus 25, that is 58, plus 20, 78, plus 12, 90, plus 7, 97, plus 3, 100. So there are 100 students who took the test. So N is equal to 100. So let us calculate 95th percentile or P sub 95. So again, the given are the classes and the frequency. So therefore, we need to add the column of the less than cumulative frequency. So when we say less than cumulative frequency, the sum of the frequencies starting at the lower class. So the lower class is 60 to 64, therefore the frequency is 3. So rewrite 3, then add up all the frequencies one by one. So 3 plus 7, 10, plus 12, 22, plus 20, 42, plus 25, 67, plus 17 is 84, plus 11, 95, plus 5, that is 100. 100 must be equal to n. So now let us calculate P sub 95. So the first step is to locate the P sub 95 or 95th percentile. So the formula is 95 times n divided by 100. Divide by 100 since we are dividing the distribution into 100 equal parts. So therefore, 95 times n all over 100, that is equal to 95 times 100 all over 100. So 100 divided by 100, 1 times 95, that is equal to 95. So next step is to locate 95 in less than cumulative frequency. So as you can see, P sub 95 is included in class 90 to 94 since 95 is included here. So P sub 95, this is the location. Let us find the remaining values in the formulas. The less than cumulative frequency, the lower class boundary, the frequency of 95th percentile in the interval. So the first one is the lower class boundary. So involves the lower score of P sub 95. So the lower score of P sub 95 is 90. Subtract 0 0.5 
from 90. So LB is equal to 89.5. And the next, less than cumulative frequency below the P sub 95. Cumulative frequency of P sub 95. So that is 95. Below it is 84. So less than cumulative frequency below is 84. And the next frequency of P sub 95, that is equal to 11. And I is equal to 5, the distance between each row. So that is I is equal to 5, 60 to 65, 65 to 70, and so on. So let us calculate P sub 95 is equal to lower class boundary of P sub 95 class is 89.5 plus the quantity of 95N over 100 is 95 minus less than cumulative frequency below is 84 all over frequency of 95th percentile is 11 times I which is 5 so rewrite 89.5, then solve the fractional part of the class interval size. So 89.5 plus, so solve the fractional part, 95 minus 84. So that is 11 divided by 11. That is equal to 1 times 5, that is equal to 5. So now, 89.5 plus 5, that is equal to 94.5. So therefore, P sub 95 is 94.5. That means, 95% of the students got the score of 94.5 and below, or less than or equal to 94.5.